Hey, what is up guys? So a new patch just came out and I wanted to go over the more important things with you guys. So let's go ahead and go over all the things that I really considered important, but I'll leave everything down below in the description box if you guys want to read every single small detail. But I basically did the homework for you guys and give you guys the too long didn't read version of this patch that just came out recently today. But anyways, so this new patch came out and it changed some of the times on the sudden death for competitive play. Obviously if you're playing quick match don't worry about it, but anyways in the competitive play the duration on, uh, of sudden death has been adjusted across all maps from 1 minute and 45 seconds to the following values. So uh, it's just a little bit shorter on some maps and actually on the hybrid uh, on Nubani over there you can see on Numbani that it is actually 1 minute and 50 seconds. So that one actually got increased just by a small amount, but uh, Anyways, that said, now that that's out of the way as far as the uh, the timers, there's something that's more important that we actually got to go over. So you'll see that there are a few bugs that were fixed. So it's a indirect buff essentially to some of the heroes. And there's technically a nerf, but the nerf is like, it, it really needed to happen. Okay, so first off, um, there is a bug that causes Mercy's, uh, the Caduceus staff beam to disconnect. So that essentially, when you're swapping between healing and damage, uh, it lets you stick on the target easier. So that's definitely a buff to Mercy. Uh, the second thing that they did is they fixed a bug that allowed Reaper to shadow step to unintended locations on certain maps. That's actually good. If any of you guys have dealt with one of those uh, Torbjorn turrets that was like through the wall or Symmetra, like there's a lot of like glitches in the game and that was a glitch that is super unintended. Now the second one, uh, or the third one I should say, that we're going to be covering is it says fix a bug that causes Winston's melee attack during Primal Rage to inconsistently hit targets in range. So sometimes you would hit targets that are further and sometimes closer. Um, or sometimes some targets that were close enough, you it wouldn't register and so they're fixing it. That's definitely something that uh, is going to make uh, wins and I guess more consistent, so to speak. Uh, and then lastly, we have fix a bug that sometimes causes Zarya's alternate fire to scale incorrectly with her damage boost modifier. So what that means is Zarya is going to see even more play than she already does. She's already super meta, but... Uh, those are the patch notes, uh, so I guess we can go ahead and just finish off this little defense objective here. I uh, kind of want to just talk about my thoughts on this patch. So, um, as far as the Mercy buff, um, I thought that was, like, you know, I I intended for the most part. Sometimes, like, um, you know, you would disconnect. It would be weird, like, if a target went through or, like, clipped through walls. But that, that was kind of glitch anyways, technically. But, um... I think overall, that's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not going to make, oh, Mercy's now going to see so much more play because of this. Uh, Zarya already sees a ton of play, and she's pretty annoying to deal with uh, as a person that generally likes to play Genji. So that could be even more annoying to deal with. But uh, after uh, that, that's going to be uh, affecting Zarya's right click. So her alt fire is going to see a lot more play. So that means just prepare for the Zarya spam to be even more real than it already technically is. So uh, just keep that in mind that uh, when you're facing off against Zarya, when she shields herself, don't hit her because she's going to be even stronger when uh, she's going to be right clicking. And it's to make it so it scales correctly before it wasn't working as intended. So it technically was a glitch, but uh, yeah. Another important thing that I wanted to go over is normally what would happen in the game if you disconnected in a match and even if you reconnected, it would technically still make you lose your ranked points. So if you were like 50, you'd go down like two levels. You guys saw the live stream. I went down two levels because the game just, it disconnected me. I didn't lose connection. I was live streaming the whole time. And for whatever reason, the game booted me. You know, the game is still in its early phases. So there's a lot of uh, bugs that they are fixing. And this is one thing that they fixed, which I'm so glad they fixed it. Although if you already got disconnected during a match and, um, you played the match, even if you would win, you would still lose the points. And at that point, why even bother playing, right? Like, why even finish off the game? Because if you would win, you would still lose the points, so it's better to leave the game and then not join. Even though I think it's a scumbag thing to do, because then at that point you're costing the team the game, essentially. But uh, yeah, that said, uh, that is something that I think is really cool. But the thing that does kind of suck, if it happened to you, let's say you won a game. Like, yesterday you guys saw the live stream. We, uh, we went down like two and a half ranks because we left the game, although we just straight up got disconnected. Uh, we will not be refunded those points, so we don't get those points again. So that definitely does suck, but, uh, you know, at least in the future that won't happen. Again, that was uh, just not intentional, so it's good that they are fixing that. But um, overall, that's the main things that I want to cover. Like I said, you guys can read everything down below if you want to check it out. But it's a lot of small bugs, like the UI didn't work at 4K resolution properly, or some of the small, like, display settings after restarting the chat. Like, it's very minor stuff, but I went ahead and did the most important stuff for you guys. But... Let me know, guys, what you think of this patch. Uh, overall, I wish they would nerf Zarya, honestly, because uh, she's very annoying to deal with. 
but uh, the thing is, yeah, after the McCree nerf, uh, she's seeing a lot more play. Just because McCree used to be able to melt her, because he did 420, he would be able to stun, fan the hammer, and she'd melt. But uh, now dealing with that is just going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, again, just if you play Zarya, just start right-clicking more often. I think Zarya might just right click a lot more and if you get hit by it you're gonna take a lot more damage but uh, anyways yeah I think that overall a lot of the bug fixes that's something that I think is good uh, like I said with Mercy I thought that was like intentional signs when it would disconnect when you were um, going from healing to the other thing but anyways that was a good little 20 20 and 0 gameplay for you guys real quick while we were uh, talking about the patch notes but uh, like I said I think it's overall a really good patch although I, I this target already hits for too much damage, especially if you're a solo player, you know what I'm talking about when you, you would hope that Zarya would get nerfed because so many times in a pub, you'll have your own teammates hit Zarya when her shield is up and you're just like, no, please, she's at 80%, guys, I can't take any more damage from Zarya. Now her right click's going to do more damage, so Zarya definitely got a, that's a huge buff for Zarya for sure. And Mercy was like an unintentional thing, I guess, but it def definitely does make Mercy a little bit better, but it's not going to make her see more play. Zarya, on the other hand, might see some more play and again... Be ready to combat those right clicks, boys. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.